now our next question is suppose a silicon side or silicon line which is having a pitch of 40 degree from 210 end lying on a schistocity whose as attitude is 30 degree striking and 40 degree northward truding so let's take a glance towards the information we have we have a pitch and we have a plane so we have to find out the plunge so suppose this is a plane we know this is the strike line suppose the strike line is 30 degree and 210 degree now suppose this is a lineation or suppose silicon line silicon line is a lineation only developed during faulting it gives us the slip direction slip lines attitude so suppose this is the silicon lines on that plane in a series of this similar attitude the definition of pitch says pitch is the angle measured on the inclined plane containing the line the angle between the strike and that of the line so the pitch is the angle between the strike and the concerned line which has to be measured on that inclined plane only you cannot measure in any another plane now the problem is strike has to end one is 30 one is 200 train here so which end you have to take you have to take that end with which the lineation or line to be measured is making acute angle so for here suppose the angle is 60 so the pitch will be written as 60 from this from term is very important for pitch the measured end it is making an acute angle with 210 degree end of strike so we have to write it as 60 from 210 degree suppose if the line was like this then the measured angle from 30 degree end because here the acute angle is making with the 30 degree end of strike so here the information given are pitch of the silicon line is written as 40 degree from 210 degree this is the pitch in our problem and attitude of the sister city on which suppose this is the sister city plane so the attitude of the plane is 30 degree 40 degree northward so we have to replace this north with its actual attitude so what is that attitude so again draw a equatorial position projection suppose this is the 30 30 degree angle so you can it can dip towards this side northwesterly or southeasterly so here north is written so it will be dipping towards this so deep direction will be true deep direction will be 300 degree those who are having problem regarding true deep term so they have to watch the earlier videos about strike line and graphical projection okay so this is the plane and this is the pitch we have to find the lineation measure it 
plunge so now come to the stereo net so here we have to measure 30 0 10 20 30 just make it move it towards the north south line of studio net so another end will be 210 degree and its dip is 40 degree so 0 10 20 30 40 so we have to draw this great circle and this will be the 300 degree so the attitude will be 40 degree towards 300 degree ok so now the pitch is given as 40 from 210 degree now these circles hopefully you can see these circles they are generated by the projection of cones suppose this is a sphere this is a sphere suppose in the center if you imagine such cones Suppose the angle is 30 degree here. Suppose in a broad cone you have imagined through this. So here the projection of those cones will form small circles. So if we project such cone through this center of the sphere suppose this is the upper hemisphere above this this is the upper hemisphere and below this plane of paper there will be the lower hemisphere of the sphere so if we imagine in such a way then the projection of cones will be the small circle now the plane planar projection will be along the great circle so what is the use of these small circles there comes the use of pitch so for measuring pitch we need to take the help of small circles the pitch is 40 degree from 210 so here this is the 30 degree end this is the 30 degree end and here it is the 210 degree end so from here the same rule the bold lines bold curvatures are 10 degree intervals so 10 20 30 40 so here you have to make this point this is the slick side now suppose if you want to so here SL I'm writing this is the slick and side so suppose we need to measure its plunge so what we have to do we can what is the definition of the plunge plunge has to be measured from the horizontal on a vertical plane so suppose we need to measure the plunge of this line first we have to imagine one 
vertical plane through which we will measure its plunge or inclination from horizontal so plunge definition has already has already been explained in detail so i don't need to explain re-explain that so now here the vertical plane's projection will be a line so one straight line to second straight line so in east to west line we measure any dip or plunge or any inclination data because along east to west line these longitudinal curves intersects so or great circle so we have to rotate the graph the tracing sheet in such a way that the center and the alineation falls in the east to west line and now we have to measure the angle so here the angle is 0 2 4 in this way 10 20 20 2 and in between 22 and 24 it is falling so here make it a line this is 23 degree and towards now we have to count see the counting method is this is 210 already marked so this gap is 2 degree interval so here is south or 180 so it is increasing in this way because this is 210 and this is 300 so 212 now 222 232 242 so this is 242 so the attitude of the slick and side is or plunge of the slick and side is 23 degree towards 242 degree this is the answer this will be the look of the stereo net so this is the make it like this this is the plunge okay so this is the second problem